Okay, so week five, what we're going to do, and I started the board on the phone. If you guys want to go check her out, it's under the summer sizzler challenge. I started filling it up a couple hours ago with the week five stuff. So I have this on there for you. So this is, these are just a couple of my pro tips. Like I recommend doing stories three to five times a day. I have an engaging first slide, which I'll talk to you about in a second. Get on video, you guys, if you can. Like I'm telling you, people love to hear your voice. They love to hear your enthusiasm. They love to like feel like they're connected to you. You don't have to even talk. Like I remember when I started, I used to try to talk about products. I had no idea what I was saying. So you don't even have to do that. Just go on and tell them a story or give them a tip or anything. Truly, people just follow you because they're nosy. <laughs> um, ask your followers questions to get them engaged, right? So you don't always want to just be pushing information. Ask people questions. Do like this or that. Um, who wants to be part of my challenge? You could put a finger up and put a question box, those types of things. Um, and then above all, just share the good, the bad, the ugly, all of it. You don't have to be perfect. Just they last for 24 hours. They're at the top of the newsfeed. So they're prime real estate. Just go in there and have fun. And if you record something and you're like, oh my God, I sound terrible, delete it. You know, like worst case scenario, you just take it down. So here's a couple of things. I'm just going to quickly go over these. I'm um, talking about stories and I'll take out this chunk and put it in that folder if you want to rewatch any of this. So they have prime real estate on the newsfeed, meaning they're at the top. Um, you can see who sees them, you guys. The little eyeball on the bottom left is like amazing because you can use that to message people and you can see who's watching you all the time. Um, and you get to be as spammy as you want because they expire every 24 hours. So every 24 hours, your stories are gone. So when I say spammy, like you can do the same things over and over because not everyone is seeing all your stories. You might have a girlfriend that watches your stories. She goes to Florida for a week. She's probably not watching your stories while she's away. So she missed everything, you know? So you can use your stories for tips, tutorials, behind the scenes, information, engagement, sales, giveaways, all kinds of things. Um, you could do lives, this or that, questions, tips. Just have fun with it, honestly. Um, so what I want to share with you really quick, and I've done a training on this multiple times. Um, this is a Shailene Johnson method. This is if you are doing slides with product. So everything I just showed you could be like the life of Marianne, the life of Carrie, the life of Frank, right? Do whatever you want. But if you want to dive in specifically with product and try to like get people to like kind of raise their hand, Shailene Johnson, who's an Instagram trainer, she's amazing. And her son, Brock, like this is what they train. And I have examples I'm going to show you. And the examples are in the folders on the boards too. So you don't have to write any of this down. So when they do these, they do um, a five slide sequence. So the first slide is a question. The second slide is your answer to the question. The third slide is what you found to help you with the problem that you're about to talk about. The fourth is your skepticism and the fifth is your call to action. And I'm gonna show you an example. So this is one I did like in the fall, I think, but it was it's just the verbiage I wanna show you because you can change it for anything. So the first slide is like, is it just me or are your jeans feeling more snug lately? So you could change that for anything. Is it just me or do your leggings feel like, you know, you're having a hard time putting your leg in, right? And then people respond. It's either yes or no, or if you have a question box, they could put the answer in there because I know those polls haven't been working. And then the second slide is, oh my gosh, it's so hard to say no to all the yummy treats this summer, especially the ice cream. Imagine if you were looking at ice cream or I don't know, whatever you had trouble saying no to. And then the third one is like, oh my gosh, I'm so grateful that I found this spoon of chocolate belly blaster a day to keep it in check. And you could be holding the spoon. You could have the spoon in the picture. You could do whatever, right? And then the fourth one is the skepticism. I'll be honest, I wasn't sure what this stuff was gonna taste like because I'm a serious chocolate lover, but it actually tastes like snack pack pudding. I'm down three pant sizes, yada, yada, whatever you say there to make it your results. And then the fifth one is the call to action. So the first slide, you see it's a question. Second slide, your answer to the question. Third slide, what you found. The fourth slide is you being a skeptic, right? Imagine if I tried to show you like this hair tie and I was like, this thing's amazing. You'd be like, dude, that's not gonna hold my hair up. My hair is so thick. That's skepticism, right? So you're being skeptic with your followers. 
And then the fifth slide is like, listen, maybe you want to try it too. Here's my offer. Oops, I went the wrong way. And then another one like with BioCell. Same time, same thing. I'll just go through these quickly. I'm not going to stay on here. That way, if you want to workshop this. So do you brush your hair and feel like clumps are falling out? That's a question. Second one, after having my kids, I had this going on for months. I swore I'd be bald in no time. Third one, I kept hearing about people talk about collagen. I don't know. I grabbed a bottle to try it. I'll be honest, I wasn't expecting much of a change, but look, here's some baby hairs. And then the fifth one, I can't believe it. Do you want me to send you a $10 coupon? So you're like walking them through, right? And then I have an under eye cream one. Again, these are on the boards, so I'm not going to read all these. I did one for go. Do you drink energy drinks to get through the afternoon? They don't even know that they're like, why they're answering it on the first slide. They're just answering all the time. No, not really. Does this make sense, kind of? And then I did these other ones. Like this was a biocell one I did about dry skin. This was a skincare one. Do you struggle more with dry skin or oily skin? Or what's more important to you, a cleanser or an exfoliant? And then you respond. Oh my gosh, my skin is so dang oily, you know? Yeah, I get a lot of responses to these. Oh my gosh. And then same thing with a coffee. So you could do it for each of our products, right? If you sit there and you like kind of map out the questions that you're going to ask. And then when she did the training, this was a slide I had taken from Shailene. These are the reasons people buy. They buy to save time, save or make money, to avoid pain, to transform or improve, or to feel good. So if you're able to help them do that, people, you know, are going to be putting our hand out for what you got. So this was that. Same exact thing, story sequences, the poll, the personal story, you unboxing, the picture of you, and then the poll call to action. So I'll go back to that first one because that's the one that makes the most sense, this one. So again, you don't have to do these every day. These take a lot of work sometimes. I used to write them out in my notepad on my phone so I would have different stories for different products. but on a daily basis, I recommend just having three to five stories of just fun, engagement, people getting to know you, you taking your products, you being consistent, you doing a dance Friday, whatever. Helpful. And also like the last thing I'll say, and then we can hop off and chit chat. Um, people are not always gonna reach out to you guys, you guys. Um, those little eyeballs that are watching you, I'm telling you, I message people all the time. Like just, hey, Miriam, what's up, girl? Thank you so much for checking out my stories. I appreciate the support. You know, would you be open to checking out the products I'm using and loving? Would you be open to checking out the belly blaster on a spoon that I've been taking for two years? And like either they say no, or I get a lot of people that are like, yeah, I'm actually interested in that stuff. Like, can you tell me more about it? I don't know why they don't vote on polls. I don't know why they don't message me, but if you can just set a goal for yourself to do the stories and tell yourself, I'm going to message five people a day. I'm going to message three people a day, right? Like whatever. That could be your goal for the week. So I'll put the names on the wheel. Does anybody want to pop off of mute <laughs> and ask any questions or anything you do that works? No? Craig, will you want to talk? You're always a talker. Training camp starts in a few weeks for football. Oh I'm my gosh, not football. But also Ugh. means then the summer's coming to us. But Julie sounds sad at the same time. Go ahead, Janet. No, I've got nothing. I just came off the mute. That's all. Oh, all right. I like I like the flow though. I mean, um, you know, with a sales background, it's kind of pretty typical for sales as far as you know presenting the the benefits and the features, and then fitting it into their life, how it's going to affect them, and you know, and uh, you know, and other people felt the same way, and this is what they found, so therefore, so it's kind of the same logic as um, most sale practices use. Well, thank you. That is um, good feedback. I appreciate you saying that. <laughs> <laughs> that it like kind of follows in the methodology of marketing, you know? 
I do mm-hmm. want to show you guys really quick. Hold on. I'm going to share my phone. And then I just did the wheel to spin it. Okay. So the last point I will make, and I started to say this before, this is one of my pro tips. So stories last, you guys. You can see my phone screen, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. So stories on Facebook and Instagram, they are 24 hours. So when you go to the news feed, see the top, you can see like the first story on all these people's stories. Now, I get it that sometimes you can't time it. You like can't think in your head like, oh my gosh, I'm going to post at 5 a.m. or 8 a.m. or 10 a.m. But if you know that every day you post like 8 a.m. or 9 or 10, if you can kind of think that way and you can make your first slide something like engaging, like something that makes people want to click, you're sucking them in, so to speak. So like if you're going to put up a picture of you taking your products, right? Like if you can be, instead of just standing at your counter, if you can like, ah, like something where people are going to see that first, it's going to make them when they see these pictures on the front, it's going to make it more clickable. Does that make sense? Like rather Mm -hmm. than I'll be a hundred percent honest. I used to put my lunchbox on there every day before school, like two years ago. And it was just so like, who's going to click on a lunchbox right? And then finally I changed what I was doing and I made it so that like I had something inviting that was on the first slide and I got more people watching my stories. So again, it's just a little marketing because as I'm scrolling across these, like you can see ones where you're like, oh, I would click on that. But then sometimes people end up with like a quote on the top, not as like exciting, maybe. Something that's going to catch your eye on that first slide and make you want to click on that. Like a goofy face, something. Yeah, like a goofy face, your pets. And listen, I get it. You're not going to do it 